Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So tonight we are going to the Manchester Opera House and we're going to go and see the Battle of the Hell musical. Now we did see this once before when it premiered in Manchester a few years ago now. Um, so I'd be interested to see it again because I think it's changed since we first saw it. So it was a preview so they changed a few bits for going to the West End so interested to see what it's like now. So yeah, it should be a fun night so we're going to go for food first and I'll show you around the theatre and then yeah. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this little So Lawrence and I are just at the tram station. The tram is due any minute. Chicken burger with cheese and bacon. This is Lawrence's barbecue burger. And then we just got some garlic bread with cheese as well. So we have just finished our food and we are just walking up to the opera house now. It's about a 10 minute walk, not too far is it? Just there in a minute. So Lawrence and I have just arrived at the theatre. Um, I think we've got about five minutes for we're to go in. It's quite cute. So I'm just going to take some pictures and then we're going to head in. So we are now in the theatre and unfortunately tonight all the till points have gone down so we can't buy any merch, we can't She's buy any drinks, in the mix. I really wanted a programme, can't buy programmes, can't buy anything so I'm a bit disappointed because I wanted a programme. He's happy because I'm not spending any money so but the theatre is really empty today. Um, there's not so many tickets for tonight, we're up in the gallery, it's practically empty as you can see. It's practically empty and I think most of the downstairs is practically empty as well. 
so yeah it'll be quite a quiet show tonight isn't it well they can't buy tickets when they come in cause, yeah, yeah. They, people can't buy tickets at the box office because they can't sell anything but they can buy them online and then they come in so there's e-tickets isn't it so yeah. see i'll have to see if anyone else comes in a minute but yeah it should be a fun show and i think it starts about what time is it time is it uh, about 20 minutes till it starts so it's now the interval. What do you think of it so far, Lauren? So it's last time. I'm only looking at the story. Yeah, me too. It's not my favourite. No. But it's alright. It's alright. Really it's pretty It's pretty It's in that. 1914 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Plus two meals. So I was actually in it. So when more of seats. <laughs> Take it away, run.
so we're just waiting for the tram now I'm looking to go home yep <laughs> do you see the show? not one of the most enjoyable I would say <laughs> week for me hi so it's now a bit later we're back from the theatre and I just thought we'd have a quick talk about what we thought of it. Lawrence wasn't impressed. No. You didn't like it, did you, really? Same as fourth time. I want a story a bit lacking for me. Yeah, same. I'm just not a fan of the story of this one. I thought I'd give it another go. We went last time and I wasn't too impressed. But I thought I'd give it another go. Maybe I'll understand it a bit more and get into it a bit more. But no, I just, I just, I get lost a bit with the story. Um, obviously enjoy the songs. I'd say I enjoy the second half of the musical a lot more than the first half. What do you think? Probably the second half the music is a bit more... Yeah, I it's recognize. got all the good songs in the second half. All the good songs are in the but second half. You'll find you probably enjoy all the songs. Yeah. Um, like the acting and all the singing was really good in it. That I can't fault them, the actors or anything. No. It's just the story for me. I just but, don't... Really get. So the story, if you didn't know, it's about. So the the story is like a uh, it's like a romantic adventure, and it's about a bunch of youths, isn't it? Stuck Some, in the yeah, the stuckers. They they're called the lost, and they're supposed to have been uh, mutated. So they stuck at the age of eighteen, and, and they they're sort of rebellious, and they like eighteen year olds are, and then you've got the normal people and. There's um, a man that's the ruler. Ruler, oh, yeah, it's all the time. Yeah, it's like a tyrant, and he his daughter falls in love with the leader of the lost, and then they sort of fight, don't they? Well, him being an old grandfather, yeah. trying to keep away and away from that world when she wants to, or you actually be outside from that world and explore. Yeah, so that is basically the story. But yeah, I can't. It's not our favourite. I can see other people would really enjoy it. They've got some good effects. They've got like, the bike and everything. Um, yeah, and the singing and the acting was real, really, really good. Just the story's just not for us. That's all. But yeah, it was good. Uh, the only problem at the theatre though wasn't there was a problem with the theatre. Um, all the tills points had gone down, so you couldn't buy any drinks. He couldn't buy any merch. Not hoping for me. <laughs> yeah, he was quite happy that I couldn't buy anything, but I wouldn't have bought anything anyway because I already have the merch that I bought from the first time we went. I've got the yeah. mug. I think I've got a fridge magnet as well somewhere. Yeah. So I didn't really need anything. I would have liked a program because I like to know who's in it. Um, but I do have my program from the last time we went, which is this one. So I don't think it would have been too much different. It would have just probably had because this has got information about the cast from this one and this cast is different except there's two two cast members that are the Falco. same from the original Falco who is the father he's and the same mother. one oh, he's mother. played by what was his name Rob Flower yeah and the woman mother in the same one was Sharon Sexton well you remembered that well yeah he was right so I thought but, I recognised him when I saw him. Yeah, the father is the, still the same. It's this guy. Oh, he was in it. Last time it was at Manchester and he was in it again. This time he was very good. And the mother was Sharon Sexton. And, yeah, she was the same this time. She was really good as well. Um, I did enjoy the girl who played Raven. I thought her voice was really, really nice. What do you think? Yeah. Good yeah, voice. I thought she was really, really good. Um, and yeah, that's what we thought of it. I don't think we'll see it again. We've seen it twice now and it's not grown on us. No, I think I'll stick to what I like. Um, yeah. That'll be like real walking. I, I like that kind of poor, so popular story better. Mm. And, and all the songs, i probably enjoy more. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, we gave it another go. wanted to give it a fair go and see what we thought of it. But yeah, this one's not for us. I think other people will probably really enjoy it. If you really love um, Meatloaf. Meatloaf, you'll probably love it. Um, but yeah, but I have to say the theatre was empty, wasn't it? Oh yeah. It was empty, as well as not being able to buy anything. Um, they were telling you to go to the shops and buy stuff and bring it in, but you weren't allowed to bring alcohol in. Um, but the theatre was empty. So. I'd say it's about, about 10% capacity. A quarter, probably. No, it wasn't even a quarter. 
Well, it did us because we got to. Yeah, it was it was practically empty, which was a shame well, for the actors, I think. But there still was quite a good atmosphere in there. You could still people, still, were still people were still cheering still and still yeah, and there was still a good atmosphere, even though there wasn't um, there wasn't very many people there. But yeah, I think it's there's a lot of people. The weekends are sold out more or less, or they're very full. It's just the weekdays that aren't. Um, but if I looked, at, I've looked at the weekends, and they're pretty full. Mm. So yeah, um, what would you give it out of ten? Uh, so it's on the top five. I think maybe a four. Like, well, forget the story. I'll mark off the scene. The songs are probably the one, some of the songs I don't get walking into the story. Mm. So I would be fair. I'd probably give it a five or six. Yeah, maybe I'm being a bit yeah. harsh. Um, maybe a five then. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that is our review. So I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. Um, I hopefully we'll be doing another one soon. We are going to see Beauty and the Beast in a couple of weeks, which I'm really excited about. We're going to a different theatre. We're going to the Liverpool Empire. We've not been there. I think was it Legally Blonde the last thing we saw there? Yeah. Or was it Rent? Was the rent during fifth time before? Might have been rent actually the last one we saw there. Yeah, because this event here was yeah. terrible enough to see. It was I think it was rent the last thing we saw there, which was amazing. Difference. <laughs> Big difference. Well, yeah, before I'm back to the Liverpool Empire though, yeah. since this core. Since COVID, pandemic, yeah. So. so we're really looking forward to going. But I do like the Empire Theatre, I think it's a really nice theatre. Well, it's nice in Manchester, but it's nice. Yeah, I think it's a really nice theatre. So yeah, hopefully you'll come back for that one. And then there's quite a few, isn't there, this month in Manchester that we want well, to see. Well, there's new ones. You yeah, want I want to see Bedknobs and Broomsticks. And it's the world this. premiere of that in Manchester, so I want to see that. I haven't seen that movie, so I'm not sure yeah. if I'll enjoy it as much. Um, but there's this Heathers. Um, Heathers is on, I want to see that. That's a new one, so that's some I might see. And what was the other one? There's Grease. Grease is well. And there's also Book Rock of, of Rock of Ages is on. No, I'm talking about this month. Oh, this month. Rock Ages on this month, is it? Yeah, Rock of Ages well, is on this month, that. but I don't think we'll We've see that. We've seen it a couple two, of times, times, so yeah. we'll have to just stick to the ones we really want to see. So you haven't seen Greece, have you, before? No, I haven't gone to see it. No. Yeah, so we're thinking that one. Bedrooms and Broomsticks is a world premiere, so oh, I've seen we can see that. Now, yeah. And then so what's it on Heather's? Not we both haven't seen, so we really want to see that. So I think we're going to maybe see those three, plus Beauty and the Beast, those four this month. Fingers. Potentially. Well, I'll say this month, next month, October. So we'll see. But there's a lot of good theatre on, isn't there, this this year? Well, my birthday is Book of Mormon, so yeah. there's that a late one in, in December, potentially. Yeah, he wants be. to see that. Well, potentially. Yeah. Hairspray's on, Waitress is on at some well, point. Well, Waitress is the one we want to see. Yeah. We've never seen that. Yeah. And that's a good thing in news about that one. Yeah. So that I'll be very happy to see because mm -hmm. all the positive reviews from it, it sounds like it will be quite entertaining. Yeah. So yeah, there's a few. So fingers crossed there's going to be a few theatre vlogs coming up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Nice. <laughs>